You must drive around with a big smile. <laughs> I would. Hi, this is Clint. From C Performance Crate Engines. Oh, well, we got some sunshine. We'll go for a drive. It's sun, like it's the sound, though. It is. It's that that. Don't you remember Dad when he would describe the bam bam bam? Good evening. Oh my goodness, it is almost midnight on the 12th uh, Sunday. It was an important day. That's my baby. That's my baby sister, Rhonda. T today was the first day that um, I was able to go and meet my mother, my sister, and her husband in the city. I was able to take my father's car, and we were with my father. Excuse me, my father's motorcycle yesterday. It was actually at the. Fr There's no. There might be one photo. There were. We didn't take any photographs yesterday during the service. But Dad's motorcycle, a, a, a 1991 Harley Davidson, which has very very specific meaning to our family dad left that to my sister Rhonda dad left me his car I've never driven her why not? It scares the shit out of me this vehicle is an inherited vehicle with a, with a yes a difficult story behind it father's car. Before this, I had my beloved 65 Chevy 2. For a number of years as a daily driver, and I recently sold it. So that was my, my yeah, my car. Anyway, it was a 65. Dad's is a 66. The year that, and 66 is the year my parents got married. So today was a big deal, and I had the opportunity to get Dad's car and drive it into the city and, and meet my, my mother, sister, and her husband, and my, I, it surprised both, well, all of them, but specifically Rhonda, made her tear up because she hadn't seen Dad's car in over a year, a year and a half, let's say. And um, just like Dad's, mo it had been um, safely kept at a friend's house, like just like the motorcycle was at a the the essentially the venue where the um the cele celebration was yesterday, uh, the Trev Trev Dealies in Vancouver. Anyway, today we were actually um, to from the city to out to the ferry. Uh, let's see, I can I don't whatever the distance. It's it's maybe a thirty depending on your speed, thirty minutes or so, maybe a little longer. And it was a, a perfect opportunity. We were going to get my mom in the car because her and dad would drive drive in this thing, and uh, get myself, my mom, and Rhonda in the car and, and just cruise to cruise together uh, but it didn't work out that way and um, it ended up being just Rhonda and I driving in the car and essentially I gave her the keys and she'd, she'd never driven anything like this and uh, and I, even with the with a V8 or the kind of power but it is, it is, it is a very unique engine carefully thought out, planned out and um, and th from experience of of previous designs, and we we built something very special with this engine, and because it has um, it, uh, features to it that are have a for in for me a connection to both my father and a connect a connection to my my brother, and my brother from another mother, Stephen. Okay, the inside. Um, this is a four hundred block from GM. It's an old, uh, it's a bow tie block that's been through a couple of rebuilds. We've actually made a 329 cubic inch by using a 283 crankshaft. So we've taken the, um, the bore out to 4.185, which is kind of like 60 over a, a, a 400 standard bore. And in the bottom end, 
we fed in a three inch stroke crank, which is out of a 283. Anyway, Rhonda got to drive the car today and I photographed her and this photo is She is in tears. We were connecting with our father today, and it's like this little girl, the little girl and my sister, in, in some shape or form, was connecting with her, her dad. So, we laughed, we laughed, like to the, at the beginning, because it's a it's it's a manual transmission car. Oh, that's another question. Can you drive manual transmission? I'm not getting into that one's better than the other, or that it's not manly. <laughs> it's not manly to drive a an automatic car. It, it certainly has its time and place, I believe. It is definitely a skill, because if it's the unique configuration, it's. It, it's not like the, the the standard transmission that she's been used to, a small four-cylinder passenger car. Pardon me. So in the beginning, there was this this very very aggressive bunny hop. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, are you ready? <laughs> bunny, bunny hop <laughs> and. We were laughing. We were laughing so hard that she, she almost peed herself. I, I know she wouldn't mind me sharing that because it was it was literally as if Dad would have have laughed too, and the joy of watching this experience. But this car, the sound, the feel, there's a, there's, she called it, she, Rhonda called it a beast. Woo! Drop it down again, drop it down again. There's a connection to the kind of vehicle, like the vehicles we grew up with that our father had, particularly a, a 1974 half-ton Chevrolet a pickup truck, which had a, a unique engine that he built for it. Pardon me. And the exhaust. So I had the pleasure today of riding shotgun with my sister and photographing her as she drove. I got a, a couple photographs, and that one really stuck out because... I could see it happen, it just, especially after yesterday. And then now we, you get to be, she got to be in this loud and powerful car, that's dad's. Give him more, give him more, give him more. So this was my dad's car? You, no, 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 you're good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's awesome though, seriously. But she's never been in this car. Or, and never driven it. Just in, just in case you remember where the wipers are? No. The, 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 first, the first on the left. The first on the left. The, Turn. Yeah. Okay. She said it was the best drive of her life. And I think after some negative things that happened yesterday within our own family. The history of this vehicle and everything surrounding it is very, uh, it's, it's, it's still some sensitive subject matter. It's in, um, as far as concerning my father and other family members. I think this was a good reminder, it was a good reminder. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. Like I could, I, I, I get it, I get it. I can't wait till the bike is, is ready.
Uh, it's not a finished project. There's still, pardon me, there's still a lot to do, but it, she runs and, and <laughs> runs and stops, so that's a, that's a good thing. Hey guys, this is Steven at Sea Performance. It's been a little while, but we are now putting the 329 into the 66 Beaumont. So we've got it just basically hanging here. Yesterday we uh, put on the clutch, the flywheel, did our back spacing, have the bearing all preset for the dimensions that we needed. And now we're just kind of playing with this, getting, making up a spark plug wire set. And in a few minutes we're gonna be dropping it in the hole. So I just wanted to say thanks for checking out the channel. If you haven't seen previous videos on this build, there's several on the channel about this build, the dyno sessions, power numbers and everything, so please check those out. Well, there we are, it's sitting on the frame, everything clears. So we're gonna just kind of suspend this, go from underneath, got the transmission and the cross member set in place, and then we'll start playing with putting exhaust and everything in, so. Thanks for checking it out. Talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs>